lovely fans let's make this all for the value of x okay um first let's transfer this to the other side of the equation and when we do that plus 2 to the power of x becomes minus 2 to the power of x so we have 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to what 65 perfect now i want to introduce difference of two squares here and the only way to do that is if I raise each side to the power of 2 over 2, okay? So if we do that, we have 3 to the power of x raised to the power of 2 over 2 minus 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 2 over 2 is equal to 65. Perfect. Now, I want us to recall this law of exponential indices that states that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n okay that means if this were to be the case if this is the case that means that a to the power of n raised to the power of m will give us the same result right so that simply means that we can interchange what the position of these two powers so that is exactly what we can we will do here so we are going to have 3 to the power of x over 2 squared let's break this inside since when we multiply this by this we are going to get the same thing minus then we have 2 to the power of x over 2 squared okay is equal to 65 perfect now we have difference of two squares and what does difference of two squares say in algebra it says that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b okay now if that is the case that means we can rewrite this as such but before we do that we need to do what simplify the equation by saying that let a equals 3 to the power of x over 2 and b equals 2 to the power of x over 2 perfect now having written that we can now write a squared minus b squared right so we have a squared minus b squared is equal to 65 perfect but what is this in algebra a squared minus b squared is what a minus b multiplied by a plus b is equal to what 65 all right <clears throat> Now, I need to factorize this. I need two factors of this that I can equate to this side of the equation. So, if I do that, I will say um, this 65 can be divided by 5. When 6 is divided by 5, we have 1 remaining 1, right? When 15 is divided by 5, we have 3. So, this simply means that 5 multiplied by 13 will give us 65. So, we can now rewrite this as what? a minus b multiplied by a plus b is equal to 5 multiplied by what 13. now we can now say a minus b is equal to 5 let's call this equation 1 and a plus b is equal to 13. let's call this equation 2. all right now let's add equation 1 to equation 2 a plus a will give us 2a all right minus b plus b is 0 so this is equal to 5 plus 13 is what 18 so to get the value of a recall we are not looking for a rather we are looking for x but we can get a we can get x from a okay so i would like you to sit put and see how we got our x from a and also sits to the end so that we'll see how we how we substituted what we got into the main equation in order to see if we are right or wrong all right so we divide through by two and when we do that we have that a is equal to what nine perfect so we have that a is equal to nine let's substitute this into any of this equation to get the value of b right so from equation one let's start from here so from one we have that what a minus b is equal to five recall that our a is nine so that means that nine minus b is equal to five now to get the value of b 
let's transfer this 9 to the other side. So we have minus b is equal to 5 plus 9 will cross to become minus 9. So we have minus b is equal to 5 minus 9 will give us minus 4. So we have minus 4. So to get b, let's divide by minus 9 minus 1 minus 1, sorry. And this we cancel this, this we cancel this. So we have that b is equal to 4. Perfect. Now, let us substitute this into this main equation. Okay, no, before that, we've not actually found our x. How do we do that? Now, recall, recall that our a is equal to what? 3 to the power of x over 2. So, recall that a is 3 to the power of x over 2. Now, we found our a to be 9, right? So, we can now say that 9 is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2. So this implies we have what? 3 squared is equal to 3 raised to the power of x over 2. So we have what? The same base. That means the powers are equal. So since the powers are equal, we can write that 2 is equal to x over 2. Okay? Now if we cross multiply, x times 1 will give us x. And 2 times 2 will give us 4. So this proves that our x is equal to 4. Similarly, let's use b to solve for x. Now recall that our b is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2, right? b is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2. So, but b is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2. And we found b to be equal to what? Our b is equal to 4. So we can write that 4 is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2. So 2 squared is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2. This we cancel this. They are, once they have the same base, just equate the powers. So this means that 2 is equal to x over 2. Now let's do what? Cross multiplication. And we still get our x to be 4. Perfect. Now let's substitute into the main equation to see if we are right or wrong. So if we do that, we have that um, 3 to the power of 4, right? Since x is 4, is equal to 65 plus 2 to the power of 4. Now, 3 to the power of 4 is 81, is equal to 65 plus 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So 81 is equal to 81. That means that we are right. Don't forget to subscribe and to on your notification bell if this is the first time you are coming across my video.